How to create a Sleeping Z character animation effect in DaVinci Resolve 18.1.4. Inside your Projects Edits window, hold and control and press I to insert a video or image into your project. Use Command instead of Control if you're a Mac user. Go to your Media Pool Master Bin and click and drag on the relevant thumbnail of your inserted media file and drag this to your Edits timeline. Using the Selection Mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, you can click on the far end of your edits to adjust the duration if you wish. Go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Effects. And go to add a Fusion Composition clip to the video track above your newly inserted video or image edit. Adjust the length of the Fusion Composition clip so it matches that of the previously inserted media file. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion node section, Go to click and add a text plus node. Go to click on either the left or right view options underneath this new tool to see a preview of your work above the Fusion timeline. With text one selected, go to Inspector and underneath text, type in the Z character into the big box which appears underneath text. Change the font style and color if you wish. I will increase the size slightly to 0.1 to make the character stand out more. If you wish to add an outline to your Z character, you will need to use another text node to determine the shade for this. With text one selected, go to click and add a merge tool. This should be automatically connected to text one via the yellow background arrow. Select text one, holding control and press C to copy. Deselect your node by clicking anywhere on the empty nodes grid and holding control and press V to paste. Click on the small grey box to the right of your duplicated text node and drag your cursor to the green arrow which appears alongside Merge 1 which represents the foreground settings as we need the outline to appear in front of the text character itself. Ensure that your duplicated text node is selected and that the left or right view option is selected underneath Merge 1 and go to Inspector where you will find the same settings applied to your initial text node. Select Shading and underneath Properties Change appearance to text outline. Double click on the color box to choose the shade for your outline. Here in this example, I will choose black. Click OK. And to make the outline stand out more, I will adjust its stroke by changing the thickness value. Here I will increase this to 0.025. Deselect your nodes and go to add a P emitter tool. With this new node selected, go to Inspector and select Style. Change style from point to bitmap. You should see a yellow arrow appearing alongside P emitter 1. Connect merge 1 to this. With P emitter selected still, hold in shift and press space. To open up the select tool window, use the search box at the bottom to find the P turbulence tool. We will use this node later on to apply minor changes to the paths that your Z characters flow on. Select this and go to click on add. With P Turbulence still selected, go to add a P Render tool from the options above the node's grid, so that DaVinci Resolve can process the animated Z character effect. Click on the grey box alongside P Render 1 and drag this to the yellow arrow alongside Media Out 1. Select either left or right view underneath Media Out 1. Return to P Emitter 1. Underneath your Fusion Timeline, use the Frame Pointer to go to a section on your video clip which is at least two seconds into the whole animation effect, so that as you work, you can see a clear preview of how your Z characters will look on screen. By default, a Fusion Composition Clip in DaVinci Resolve plays for a frame rate of 24. In this example here, I will click on the 0.0, .0 underneath the Fusion Timeline, and will change this to frame 47. With P Emitter selected, go to Inspector, select Region, which should by default be set to Sphere. To prevent the Z characters from spawning from too many different locations, I'm going to reduce the size of the sphere to 0.025. To make the Z particles bigger, go to Style. Under Size Controls, for this particular project, I will increase the size value to 0.8. And to have the Z characters start off small and increase in size towards the end of their lifespans, I will go to the Size Over Life graph and click on the yellow node on the left and drag this down halfway towards the bottom so that the Z characters start off with the small size. And to have the characters significantly increase in size, I will click and drag the right-sided node halfway up towards the top. 
and to have each said character blend in and out of the animation, I will go to Fade Controls, change Fade In to 0 0.1, and Fade Out to 0 0.9, so that the Z characters are fading in the initial and final 10% of their lifespans. Now to determine the quantity, speed and direction in which the Z characters flow, go to Controls. To avoid a congestion of Z characters, I will reduce the number value from 10 to 0 0.05. Under Velocity, increase the value for the first variable to generate character movement. Here in this example, I will set Velocity to 0 0.03. Change the value for Angle to determine the direction in which the Z characters will flow. I will add the value 50 here so that they flow towards the top right corner. I wish for the lifespans of these characters to be relatively short so that they don't reach the edge of my canvas. Here in this example, I will reduce the value for lifespan from 100 to 70. And to add slight variation in the direction which each of the Z counters flow, I will return to Velocity and add 5 to Angle Variance. Select P Turbulent. You can set Z Strength to 0 as we are only doing a two dimensional animation. Change X and Y Strengths to 0 0.02 to apply minor respective horizontal and vertical changes to the flow of the Z characters. Return to your Edit window. Drag your red playhead further down the timeline to see the Z characters being emitted. With the Fusion Composition clip selected, go to Inspector and underneath Transform you can find the Zoom properties to alter the size of your Z characters if you wish, and also position X and Y which you can adjust so that you can position the Z characters appropriately. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.